Hi, this is Suze Eleven Tarot. This is going to be a Pisces Singles reading. Okay. Pisces Singles reading. All right, so let's see what energies might be available here. Nice. Okay. It's looking really good. And I think that's because I feel like the Scorpio energy is here and they've got the sun transit. And so maybe that, it, some of that energy is coming into this reading here. I feel like it goes more like this. goes there. Okay. It's real interesting because um, I was tapping into some Virgo energy for some people and it seemed like uh, for the ones that were having like challenges with partnerships, um, they were tapping into the Pisces energy a lot. Okay, so, and it kind of feels similar. Okay, so, um, with that said, let's talk about past to the present, past to the now to the present. Okay, so I feel like this is the new you right here, the goddess within, your sacred spiritual center and, and quiet dignity. So I feel like you are moving in your integrity um, you know, you're like awake, bringing your dream world and grounding them into this physical reality. Okay. So it's like you're moving in that subtle energy, uh, which is within. Okay. And so that's very nice. Um, so not only are you dreaming up new things, I feel like you're really bringing them, uh, into the material world. Okay. So in the past, Okay, so uh, cause and effect, right? Uh, part of the things that happen here is learning, right? Uh, this realm can be challenging and um, cause and effect can get caught up, right? If sometimes we're uh, in that dream world or um, that world that is like... Mm, if we move through physical reality with an idealized version of what is really there, sometimes that cause and effect can show up up to um, kind of uh, see from different points of perception. Okay, so here's the assets thing. This is coming up again. Okay. All right, so now some of you had entanglements with partners back here. Okay, so I don't want to focus there because I want to focus on going into the future. But to really go into the future, we kind of have to surrender the past and really understand it so that we can release it. Okay, so uh, some, some people may need to do a little bit more tweaking there with that internal work. Okay, so, um, okay, so it's like this. Okay, so some of you were um, married and then were considering uh, separation. Some stayed, some didn't, and um, some of that, that looked like uh, considering 
uh, taking legal action, right? If there's children involved here. Okay, so that was in the minds of some. Okay, now whether some to actually took the action, uh, some didn't. But, okay, so if you're one of those people who were considering taking legal action to get support in any way, then, and you didn't, okay, um, what you want to do is really release that, right? Because that means you're moving in forgiveness, but you have to fully align with that so that you can release it, okay? Because you don't want that residual energy to hold you back from your coin here, okay? So, um, or paper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the thing. Whatever abundance you think you can get from the other person, you can get more than that is what I'm seeing here, okay, on your own. But you have to release that past and find ways to let go, okay, if you decided not to take action here, okay, any kind of legal action. Okay, so just... What does that mean? Okay, sure up your energy with it. If you made that choice, move in that direction fully, right? Okay, so that means not pondering it in your mind over and over again. Like whether you made the right choice or not to forgive and release. Okay, so um, I always think the best way is to just forgive and release. You know, I, I feel like we're in a culture where it's like... Uh, it's set up for non-forgiveness with all this suing business, you know, but sometimes I feel like it is necessary, right? That's why it's here, okay? And I believe that the collective feels that way, so uh, we do have a judicial system and whatnot, right? Okay, but if you don't want that kind of entanglement and you feel like you can be more free by not taking legal action and moving into your abundance, I think um, just the key is to release it fully here, okay, for some of you. Okay, because this is the eighth house. The transformational area of your life is about shared resources and intense emotions. So maybe perhaps some of the reason why it was a little bit hard to let go was because of your deep feelings and emotions. Okay, are right, involved with that. Okay, and then that can happen, right? When we're talking about assets and uh, things that are important to you and of value to you. Okay, with the second house here. Okay, but what I see is whatever you think that you let go of back here, there is like to the 10th power more abundance for you to access through your own creativity and then that will free you and you won't be uh, you won't feel bound by anything. There's like no compromise there. There's just freedom and joy and bliss is what I see. Okay, moving in your creativity. Okay, so for some of you, you want to know if you're going back to the past person. Okay, so as you come into your power and your full energy here in this newfound kind of God or goddess energy, right? Okay, so um, with this, there is potential for that again with the past person. I always say the twin flame energy is not always, uh, you know the ending that's just the beginning in a new you know a new reality a new clicked into a new higher vibration you know and it's possible here okay so here's the wedding ring so this could be a new person okay or past person okay that's what i'm picking up okay so you're going to be feeling more in your power with this Aries and then the sun in Scorpio. Okay, so, and that's going to, that strong kind of confidence is going to help you to move uh, in, uh, to be more lively. You'll feel probably more strong in your physical body. Um, you'll be able to communicate better and you'll have like a free exchange and freedom to travel. Okay, and um, some of you who have children here, okay, um, are going to find new ways to uh, travel with your children 
and uh, make it more find ways to make it more fun and I feel like uh, there are different places that you can go to to see what some of the other parents or single parents have been doing to kind of, uh, you know, still travel, but safely during this time, right? With the sea thing. Okay. So there's that. Okay. So now let's go into tarot. Okay. So first let's see. What energy, uh, what signs are showing up here for you? Gemini, okay. That's that twin energy. It's not necessarily, uh, it's not necessarily a Gemini, okay? But um, that is the possibility here. Okay, so now interesting, okay. I'm actually picking up Scorpio. What's this? Virgo. Okay, Virgo showing up. That's what I was talking about. Like I, when I was tapping into the Virgo energy, I was picking up their polar opposite energy, which is Pisces. So that could be that. Okay, this may not be a love interest. Okay. Now, if it is a love interest, what I want to say is, okay, so your polar opposite is Virgo. Okay, so what you want to do is, okay, I think what really wants to be uh, done here with the Neptune retrograde is grounding your dreams into this physical reality. So sometimes that may turn out to be a loving partner that is a Virgo. Okay, so, but what you want to do is first, before you... Um, even spend time with this Virgo is to align your own energy with the positive aspects of Virgo in your own energy and then move towards the Virgo because otherwise um, there could be some problems there later on. Okay, so um, that's what I would suggest there with that Virgo. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. What's this? Okay. Aquarius. Ooh, okay. Okay. So again, align your rising sign with your sun sign. And um, so um, I'm feeling with this Aquarius energy here, I'm pulling in that Uranus energy. So it's like that leading edge energy, wanting to try something really new and reaching for new places that you've never gone before. Okay. <clears throat> Some of you that might be like, um, you know, um, being a leader for a certain cause or something like that. Okay, but what I'm really feeling is energy of wanting to try something new, something different that no one's tried before. Okay, with this new confidence coming in. Okay, so um, the key to that is moderation with this Libra card coming out, right? Okay, so it's like not getting too puffed up, being humble, but still being in your power and moving forward. Okay. So, um, okay, so Cancer is showing up. Okay, so Cancer's a nice combination for you because uh, of the emotional nature of Cancer. And you have a deep, compassionate understanding, okay, of your watery nature. Okay, so for some of you, maybe that was like this kind of twin energy. Okay, so how to raise that is to raise your own frequency or raise your own vibration because actually your natural state just be the the natural you that's your high frequency okay all right so there's that some of you will be going towards a libra in the future all right so now and what i think you like about the libra for some of you is that they move in like uh in the idealized version of reality so it's like keeping it real right 
Okay. <laughs> it's like, um, uh, so it's like witty humor, um, and being more realistic and, um, all right. So, um, maybe with that Neptune retrograde, that energy would be more comfortable for you. Okay. Uh, now, okay. So, uh, let's see. Okay. So those are the signs. Okay. Now let's go into tarot. Oh, first let's pick these. Okay, rain. Pressure. Hmm, I actually think it goes this way, yeah. Well, yeah, it could this could be interchangeable here like this. Okay, so let's bring this up a little bit more. Okay, so the bushfires. Okay, so for me, this card is like purification, right? So that could be like the twin flame energy, burning it up, right? And then bringing in the spring energy to, it's like a renewal here. Okay, and what's interesting is this this uh, lady is part tree. And it, that is what represents like the Neptune retrograde right now. It's like bringing that grounding into the dream from the dream world into this reality and having an abundant spring like beginning now. Okay, and I feel like that is beautiful. Okay, so all right, here we go pressure. Right, so there's a certain degree of waking up and uh, releasing resistance here with this pressure card. Hmm, I'm getting a song, I think it's Billy Joel, Under Pressure. Okay, I don't know what the whole song is about, but I'm hearing it. Okay, so, um, but... Um, Okay, so take a look at this. What I see this as is the stream that is you, that pure positive stream, right? Okay, so, um, that's like that past residual energy, and then you're moving into a new reality. Okay, and so look look how beautiful and gorgeous and golden, right, that is. Okay, so it's like you're emanating, okay? Your dream world is uh, materializing from substance to mat matter, okay? So it's coming together. So the key is... Okay, release what you need to, to release that resistance to fully merge, okay, in this physical reality with your new creations. Okay, so that still could mean marriage for you with this past person, okay? It doesn't mean you have to, you know, uh, burn up everything. Now, but you may be moving towards a new person. Okay, for some of you. All right, so let's see. Let's do tarot real quick. Eight of Cups. All right, the Death card. Could be Scorpio energy, right? Yep. Okay, all right, so. All right, so let's talk about this for a minute. 
Okay, for your transformation, um, okay, I feel like you had to move away from that fire, that heated energy, okay, and that could turn into uh, anger and all kinds of things, okay, but you w chose transformation, so you walked away, right? Okay, so, and then here we are in that, um, the Scorpio energy, endings and rebirth. So I feel like you called forth this energy. Now with that sun in Scorpio, there's that purification energy. Okay, so that's coming in, those undercurrents. You can harness those to kind of move in positivity. Okay, and the thing with that is, if you don't practice... Clearing your mind of negative thoughts. Here's the devil card. Okay. Now that could cause the new beginning and your new energy. Okay. That you're going to need to move into your creation. So the key is. Okay. It says seduc seduction and downfall. Okay. So. The key is here is releasing any kind of negative thoughts in your mind, doesn't matter what it is, to free yourself. You free yourself so that you can move in this new beginning, okay? New beginning, where was that? See, that was the second card. New beginning, okay, and move in the direction that you want to move two of wands okay now some of you may partner with a scorpio all right all right now we have queen of pentacles what is this Four swords reversed, okay, that's progress, and seven of pentacles. Okay, so here we are in the queen of pentacles, and I feel like that's you wanting to improve your uh, financial status, okay, and, um, and be compensated in a way. So, um, again, like I, I said here, if you want compensation from a past person, Go in that direction, but don't decide not to and then teeter, keep having your mind stay in that. Okay, so I feel like what I'm picking up is forgiveness. So you're just deciding to create it for yourself, the abundance, because it was not what you thought it was once you got there with that person. <laughs> okay. So now here's the four of swords. So you're releasing that pain here. Okay, and that time of rest, I feel like you're you're healed. Okay. And then here's the seven of pentacles, wanting to um, move into prosperity. Okay, so let's keep going. I like the direction it's going in. Okay, so some of you, uh, here's a lantern again, right? So that might be hermit energy. But I feel like what you really want to do is come out of that because you've got four swords reversed. So that means get out. Go out. Of course, follow your own guidance, but that means collaborate, get out, create. Okay, so we've got three of swords and two of cups reversed and the empress okay so some of you will choose to be single and just move in your abundance okay now because of the past hurt and pain so it's showing up again so tweak your energy a little bit more and fully release that so you don't have resistance moving forward okay then you can flip this two of cups it's here available for you now, this Two of Cups is gorgeous with this Empress energy. Okay, so uh, for some of you, there may need to be a little bit more forgiveness and release. And then you can have this right here. It's available right now. Okay. Two of Cups and the Empress. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, we've got the Knight of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so for some of you, if you saw your past person as a player type, um, I feel like um, he's going to be more or she's going to be more. Um, what's the word? Cooperative. It's going to be more co cooperative with you this time. Okay, because I feel like the lessons were learned here. Okay, so there's going to be more peace and more harmony. And also, through this lesson, there on both sides, there is a learning how to manage anger. Okay, so that's nice. That's very nice. All right. What's this? Okay, and here's a chariot. And we're going to leave it there. So that could be the Cancer, or it could be anyone in this um, abundant energy, right? The King of Pentacles. Okay, and I leave you with that, Pisces. Thank you.